Hey, how's it going? I'm Becky Safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to look at synthesis and sound design of kick drums inside Serum. If you're looking for more long form music production, I do stream on Twitch three times a week twitch.tv forward slash Becky safe come and join the community and I'll leave the link to the channel below so you can check it out all right we're going to jump into serum and I'll show you what to do so as long as you follow this formula this is how you make kick drums in pretty much any VST as long as it has the capabilities of doing it so go to oscillator a click on the top go down to analog and go to analog bd sign it's a pure sine wave and in the door at the moment I have some midi notes which is the kick drum and also a break on a separate track and it's really nice to have something like a loop playing alongside your kick drum so you can get an idea of what it sounds like with another instrument so let me play what we have And you can hear that that's pretty high in frequency. It doesn't sound anything like a kick drum. I'm going to open up a spectral analyzer and this is Span, which is free from the internet. Fully recommend that you download this as it's a great tool just to monitor your mixes. And you can see that the fundamental is peaking at around 300 hertz, which is what we don't want. We want the kick drum to be down in the lower end of the human auditory hearing spectrum. Auditory and hearing are the same word, just a different word. Same, 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 but different. <laughs> so you want it to be down at around 40 hertz, which is the lowest end, the sub frequencies. Uh, so bring up Serum. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower the octaves until we get there. And I would say that's about right, so let's just have a look at span just to check. And you can now see a nice fat lump in the low end, which is where we want it. All right, let's go back into Serum. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to modulate the pitch of this sine wave. So come to LFO1, drag it over to the left and create a concave shape like this. Put it on envelope mode and take it off of the BPM. Drag your LFO1 up to the coarse pitch. We want this on unidirectional mode because if you think about the body of a kick drum, it goes boom boom every time it gets hit so it's just in one direction so press shift alt and left click on the course pitch and then drag the crosshair down so that you can control the amount and you can see you can see on the lfo that it's moving pretty fast through the lfo we don't want that it's acting as an envelope now uh, but we want it to to move a little bit slower so bring down the rate And then attenuate on the course pitch again, bringing the crosshair down. And I would say that's about where you would want it for a kick drum. The next thing you want to do is if you do think about the kick drum and how it's made up, I always do this with my drums. I kind of pick apart all the different features. The next thing is we want to create the sound of the beater where the beater hits the drum. That's also a sound. Uh, so we're going to go to the LFO2. We're going to drag it over to the left. And this time we're going to create a much sharper shape like this. Put it on envelope mode, take it off of BPM, and we're going to drag LFO to up to the level but we're going to bring down the level to zero first and then drag LFO2 onto it and let's play it and now you can hear that beta sound but it's pretty fast so we're going to drag down the rate on LFO2 Cool. So now we have the beta and we have the body of the kick drum. And the next thing you can do is you can further modulate the pitch. If you go to the matrix, you can click on LFO3 and you can go to the global master tune. And just remember to make sure it's on unidirectional. So you just click there underneath in the type column next to master tune. Click so that the arrow is just in one direction. Go to LFO3 and we're going to do the same thing again, creating a concave shape on envelope mode, take off the BPM, bring down the rate, and then adjust the amount here as to how much you would want it to be modulating on the master tune. Cool. 
Okay, cool. All right, so the next thing you want to do is then add an LFO or an envelope to your filter. So activate the filter. We can drag up this LFO3 onto the cutoff and we can press Shift, Alt and left click so that it's in unidirectional mode. And then we're going to just drag the cutoff knob around, bring up the drive and bring up the fatness. So we're getting a nice fat kick now. You can adjust the amount as well with using the crosshair on the cutoff again. And the great thing about Serum is that it actually has its own kick noise built into the noise oscillator, which is really handy because low frequency material tends to be quite difficult for the human ear to hear. So you want to be adding extra noise on top of your kick so that in things like your laptop or headphones, uh, they might not be able to pump out those low sub frequencies as a sound system. And it means that the human ear, if it's listening to music through a laptop, can actually hear it because you've added extra noise in the higher frequencies on top of your low frequency material. Come over to the noise oscillator and activate it, click on it and then go to attacks and kick and you have all of these kick attacks uh, which is really great it's adding to the beta sound that you've already created so if you click on it and now you can hear that noise on the top of your kick but obviously it's a bit much so bring down the level we're going to go to LFO4 and we're going to create another shape to modulate the level of this noise oscillator, put it on envelope mode and take it off the BPM and then drag LFO4 over to the level. You can hear it, but I'm not sure on the rate. So drag the rate down. And now you can hear that noise on top of the kick drum and it's really nice. It just adds some texture on top. Uh, last thing you want to do is go to the effects section and you can add a compressor and distortion to your kick drum. Turn off the compressor so we're just hearing the distortion to start with. And tube distortion is really nice if you just bring up the drive. And then activate the compressor and what you want to do is just make sure that the attack is pretty slow so that the transient of your kick drum is punching through and the compressor isn't pulling down the transient uh, of your kick before it's actually been heard. Increase the gain. And then another great thing to do once you've done that is go into your DAW and just add a saturator. Saturators are really great for low frequency content as it brings out the upper harmonics and just bring up the drive. And that is it. That is how you synthesize a kick drum inside Serum and actually inside any VST. As long as it has these capabilities, you can follow the same formula and do exactly the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos and have fun making your own kick drums. I'm Becky Safe and I will see you for another video. Bye.